would you consider yourself like a meme rapper? Hell no, I hate when people call me that shit. Okay, so because I'm a, I'm an activist. You hear me? Okay, I, I consider myself a, a, a activist. Young bass guy and I'm bass with the Marsies, 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 Marsies. This is the Mars Files, powered by One AM Radio. It's your boy Mars Three Times. Yeah. Today I'm very excited. I got a special guest, uh, Wetback Manny's in the building, aka the Crocodile Hunter Manny, aka yeah. Lil Telemundo, Lil Telemundo, aka Manny Lil Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So real quick, Manny, I kind of want you to just like introduce yourself and kind of just tell the people like what exactly it is that you do. Um, it's it's you hear me? It's your boy Manny Matthew in the building. Um, I make music videos. Uh. I make music like some Spanglish shit. Yeah. Uh, shout out, shout out, my catrachos out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what the fuck is a carach- carach- Oh, those are Hondurans. Okay, that's what they call themselves. Okay, where where are you from? What's your nationality? Um, nationality. Yeah, like or ethnicity. Ethnicity. Oh, I'm Honduran. Oh, you're Honduran? Yeah. Is it fucked up that I thought you were Mexican? Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I go by by Wetback Mandy because. Yeah. I've been called um, wetback, spick, like in Florida, uh, growing up racially, yeah. and, and I try to make it a flex. Yeah. <laughs> so instead of instead of feeling down, like you hear me, they try to make me feel down. Yeah. I made it a flex, and I was like, "It's wetback, man, you bitch." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, okay, where in Florida are you from? West Palm Beach. West Palm Beach. So, were you? Did you experience a lot of racism in West Palm Beach? I feel like it's still mm. kind of multicultural in West Palm Beach, or am I just- like it was? Like minimum, but like it was like in middle school mostly. Okay. Like I went to like a white school. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So they weren't they weren't fucking with Manny. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like so, how'd you get into music and how'd you get into shooting videos? But like, and which one came first? Oh. Uh, first, at first, I was making, I was making YouTube videos. Okay. As a as a jit, like in fourth grade and shit, and. I don't know music. I was in in with my with my squad in high school, and they told me, "Yo, make a song." And and I told them I was gonna make a song. And a week has passed by, and I never made the song. And then a day later, I was like, "Yo, I'm about to make a song out of nowhere." I recorded that shit on my iPhone <laughs> and put it up. And then that's when I I made um my first song. What and song was it? Is it out? No, I, I took it down. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I took it down. It had like I remember the first day it got a hundred views on SoundCloud. That shit was dope. Okay, it was crazy. And then and then how did you get into videos? Into videos because of the YouTube stuff. Yeah, the YouTube stuff. And then I was like, yo, I I make my own videos. I edit them all. Like, why not make another alias? Holy Mandy, yeah. <laughs> Holy Mandy, and um, now I'm shooting music videos too. Okay, okay, um. So growing up in West Palm, I mean, obviously, like, you, you experienced some, like, racism because you went to, like, a white school. But, like, how was it growing up? Like, I, mean, I don't even know how old you are, but, like, how was it after high school? And also, I want to know, like, how'd you link up with, with Lil Toe and and um, and um Snot? So, so uh, how was it growing up? Yeah, like... I, I was into skateboarding. Uh, I played basketball one time. The first game, they, they kicked me out because... They hit me with the ball in the face, <laughs> and they counted it as a foul. And then I, I only made one shot, and then I never went back. Um, what else? Oh, I went to immigrant marches with my mom and my dad because they're immigrants, and but they got their shit straightened out now. Yeah. So but, wait, so you were your so you're, were your parents here illegally at one point? Yeah, at one point. Yeah. Oh no way! Hell yeah! Damn, Damn. <laughs> it's crazy. But they're they're good now. They're good now. Are you are so you, were you did you? Always grow up in Florida, or like, were you born out here? Were your parents I, I are from was here? Right here, yeah. Okay. And I would go to like the marches of immigrants because they were trying to. At that time, they were trying to fight for like the TPS. It's TPS. I don't know what it is, in English how it's called. Uh huh. And yeah, we would go to immigrant marches, and um, I remember, I remember growing up, I seen there was this rapper. His name was Papi Chulo at the time, and he he said like some real shit, and I think that's why I'm like this now. Like, um, he was like. Immigrante valiente, siempre echando pa'lante. Which basically means um immigrant, brave immigrant, always looking forward and shit. And, like, that shit was crazy to me because to this day I still remember that. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. So then, and then, how'd you meet like Toe and Snot? And like, we were born in LA or in California, and then moved to Florida. No, I, I'm from I'm from West Palm. Okay, I was born over there. Okay, but your parents? Oh, they they're from um they're from Honduras. They came from Honduras. Oh, straight. In, so in straight, straight from Han- Honduras to Florida. Yeah. Okay, okay. So how'd you meet Toe and Snot? Toe and Snot. Oh, Toe, I met because of SoundCloud. I was like, I was on Twitter, and um. And there was a, he said Lil Toe. I was like, "Who the fuck is a Lil Toe? Like, what the fuck is that?" And yeah. then I, I I I scrolled past it. and I was like, "I'm not gonna see that." And then actually I went back. I'm like, "Yo, I'm open minded. <laughs> yeah. let, let me check that shit out." Yeah. And then boom, I heard him. It. it was his first song, and I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" Well, like, was it like a frog? It, yeah, yeah. Why you look like a frog? I was like, "Oh shit, this is sliding." <laughs> I I hit him up in in the SoundCloud DM. And I was like, yo, bro, you go hard, bro. You representing Palm Beach. And he was like, yo, let's make a song, bro. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, he only had 50 followers. It was my first feature and shit. Like, and then I was, it was, I didn't know how to work a feature. I didn't know anything about features and shit. I was nervous. He made the song. It was already a banger itself. And I was like, do I even need to hop on this? <laughs> and like, that shit was hard. Yeah. So, I mean, how, how, how serious do you like really take this rap and stuff? And like, would you consider yourself like a meme rapper? Hell no, I hate when people call me that shit. Okay, so because I'm a, I'm an activist, you hear me? Okay, I, I consider myself a, a, a activist. Okay, so so kind of dig deeper into that. I mean, like what? Like I know you got the the fuck I song. I have fuck the KKK. You hear me? I'm trying to. I'm really trying to do like more stuff for like immigrants and shit. I really want to get into that. Yeah, I mean, do you think your music has to be more serious in order yeah, yeah, to do yeah, that? Yeah. I, Bro, this year, bro, this year's gonna be more different shit. Like, more. It's gonna be like, I'm gonna make singing music, different shit, like screaming music. I don't even know. Like, I've done it once, but I'm gonna do it again. Like, I'm gonna just do different shit. Like, move on from like funny shit and shit. Yeah, well, I mean, I feel like you shouldn't like just like lose your like. No, I would never like move on. Like, I'm always being me. Like, I, I can give a fuck what people think about me. Like, if you t- call me a meme rapper, I don't give a fuck. Like, but it just. I don't like putting myself in a box either. I feel it. I feel it. I feel that 100. percent I like. I I feel like I can make more shit. Yeah. No. Definitely. Definitely. So, like, how long have you actually been making music? Um, uh, because last year I don't really count last year because I only dropped like three songs. Yeah, but didn't you <laughs> drop Little Telemundo last year? Um, no, that was like two years ago. No way. Already? Yeah, 2016. I think so. Already? Yeah. Damn. Uh, and I really don't count last year because I really didn't do shit. Like, yeah, I, didn't, I was really stuck in the Instagram streak. I had like an Instagram streak. Yeah, how was that? You literally posted every day. Yeah, and I don't want to do that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that shit gives me stress, bro. How did you come up with something to post every day? Like, it was how hard was that? That shit was hard as fuck. Like, sometimes I'd be looking like a junkie, going like, "I need a post. I need a post." <laughs> like, that's just that's just trash. I'm never doing that again. Was it? Was it like? Uh, did it like work though? Like, did you gain a lot of following? Yeah, I, I gained like a, a good amount of following. Yeah, that 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 happened, but. I don't want to do that ever again. So, like, it, it it was so stressful, like, it kind of took you away from the music? Yeah, that's how I feel, because me, I, have, I work like this. Like, if so one thing has to get done I, that day, I have to, like, finish it. Like, there's no way. I, I have to get that picture done, like, and it has to be some funny shit or crazy shit. Yeah. Damn, so so you didn't really focus on music. So you're telling me that Telemundo dropped two years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think 2016. And that was like your, that was like what was, would you consider that like your biggest song? Yeah. And I also have the feature with um, Loto, which is like the, the one, it's on my account and it has like more views in it. Yeah. And then with the, with the Telemundo thing, like Danny Wolf reached out. Oh yeah. Danny Wolf reached out. He was like, yo, what's up, bro? You go crazy. Like, <laughs> let me host that shit, bro. <laughs> this was crazy. Yeah. Shout out Danny Wolf. You hear me? I mean, has any, has anything else come of that? Like, has, like, where, 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 where are you right now in your music career? Me, I don't know. I just want to release more music. This mm-hmm. is what I really want to do. Are you recording and stuff? Yeah, I record. I'm like, I have like, last year I didn't have no unreleased music. Now this year I have like about 10 to 20 tracks. I'm trying to get 100 unreleased songs. And what's the what's the plan with it? Um, Try to release at least two songs a month and like 10 videos this year, like crazy ass videos. Yeah. Um. Did we talk about how you, I know you talked about how you met Toe, but you talk about how you met Snot? Nah, um, me and Snot, uh, I met him in in um, we go to the, the we 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 went to the same high school, uh-huh. and I met him in ninth grade year, and like that's been my homie since ninth grade and shit. So you just like shot the video, and then that shit went crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he like I met him in ninth grade, 
and like I was making music first, and then he made music, and this shit was crazy. Like he's he's always on his own shit. Yeah, like he's always on like he be doing his own things. Like yeah, yeah. Oh, did you know, like, when you're shooting that video, how crazy it was going to nah, be? No, nah, no, he told me, yo, this shit's going to look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we, we put him in, like, a, a a fucking shower and shit. That shit was, that shit was crazy. How, did you, how, do you, how do you, like, shoot your videos? Like, what do you use to edit them? What do I use? Like, program or camera? Yeah, program. Oh. And, and camera. Like, what's, oh, your, camera? What's, your, what's your setup? You hear me? You I can snap like a bone. You hear me? On any camera. You hear me? Yeah. Like, and uh, I, for my program, I use on uh, my iPhone. You, you edit. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to give the sauce. You hear me? <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Um, let's kind of talk about more like the the activist stuff. I mean, I know like Twenty One Savage just like got oh yeah taken it, by ICE. Like, how do you feel about that, bro? Like, that's just fucked up, bro. Some people are taking it as a joke, and like, it's not even funny, bro. Like, bro, free my auntie. She got deported, bro. Like, like she, for real? Yeah, she she's in Honduras right now. Like. But I don't think she's going to come back because she's living good over there right now. What did she get deported for? I ain't going to say too much. She here. Oh, um, so you take that stuff like Hell super, yeah. super seriously. I bro, mean, like when I hear in songs, oh, and got your ass deported. Like I be hearing some rap songs that they be saying that shit. Be I be turning offended. it off, bro. I be turning that shit off. Because it's like a real thing for you. Yeah, like life. when when Toe said, um, I, I fucked the Spanish bitch and I got her ass to put. I told him, bro, like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that but, shit really makes you. Like, yeah, but he was like, nah, bro, you, it's all good, bro. Yeah, so that shit really makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. Because, like, it's like. Yeah, my cousin, bro, like, my cousin got deported too. He came back three times. He me. And, but it was, like, hard for him. Like, he was on some sneaky shit. He had, a, he had to do some crazy shit to get back over here. That's crazy as fuck. So, like. So like you're you're a citizen and your parents are citizens yeah. now. No, like they're residents right now. So like they have a green yeah. card. Yeah, they're they're so close to getting their citizenship. Does the does the stuff that's happening like with Trump and like the border does that shit make you nervous for your family? Hell yeah. Because like I I mean I don't know I mean maybe maybe you're more like tuned into it than I am. But Hell like, yeah, because um recently they were fighting for the DACA shit. Mm-hmm. What's the DACA shit? The DACA shit is um the. Uh, for the the dreamers, like they want to go to school and shit, and they can stay here to to fucking go learn to school, and shit yeah. and go to school. My cousin, like his shit was about to expire. And shit, they recently just brought it back and shit. He got my my cousin got his shit on point, so he's good to go. Yeah, he's good to go. I mean, so I mean, how do you, I mean? I, I know, but like, how do you feel about Donald Trump and like? Man, it's fuck Trump. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I feel about Trump. Man, I don't fuck with him. I, I pulled up to the White House and shit, <laughs> and I, I I posted up with like this shirt of like Donald Trump having like I I edited him to be like a bitch or some shit. <laughs> like he was putting like a tennis rack in his pussy and shit. Like it's some crazy shit. Like do, do you do you like? I mean, do you pay attention to any of like the the what's the word I'm looking for the um the policies or whatever? Like like do you know what's happening right now with Twenty One Savage? Do you know? What's gonna happen? Or right now, I heard that he's like in holding, like they they're detaining him and shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Hopefully, he. he I mean, can do you have back. any family members that have been like detained by ICE? Um, my cousin, yeah, my cousin. Mostly, mo- it's mostly my cousin. My my auntie, she had like an order of deportation and shit. What does so, that mean? Like, what? like they tell you like you can't be in the country or you have to like leave. Like, so she, she was. So what did they like? She stayed her? and then they pulled up on her. And then what? They like they deported her. They took her out. Yo, that's why it's fuck guys. I don't even put that shit in my water. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even put that shit in your water or my horchata. Yeah. <laughs> you fuck with horchata? Hell yeah. I mean, what's your what's your favorite thing about being out here in LA? Um, the tacos are like a dollar yeah. over there in Palm Beach. Are like three, they got me <laughs> fucked up. And and what do you what exactly are you doing out here? You're just vibing. Yeah, I'm just vibing. I wanted to see how LA was, and I was hungry. Like I uh, I was telling you earlier. Um. I was hungry and I was like, yo, I never had In N Out or Jack in the Box. Let's pull up to LA. I told my sister, let's pull up. Yeah. <laughs> and then we we had some, and I didn't even have the animal style. I didn't even know what the hell, the, the hell that was until people started swiping up on my story. We're like, you didn't even go to LA, bro. Just go back home, bro. <laughs> and I was like, I have to go back now to get some In N Out. Yeah. Yo, how did you, how did you kind of like garner your fan base? Because I see everybody's like kind of like, like really excited about like you, like, and even like outside your music, like you're kind of just like a character. Like, like, I mean, how did it start and like how did you how did you get to where you're at right now? Because there's people who are like commenting on your shit, like all types of crazy shit. You know what I mean? Like how did it get there? How, um, 
I don't know. I just I feel like each time I release a music video on Twitter, that should be beating like five thousand likes and uh, like two thousand retweets and shit, and like it has start growing more and more. That's why I want to release more music videos because <laughs> I feel like I'd be going crazy and shit. Yeah, you do. You do those videos. Those videos go dumb as fuck. Hell yeah. And like um. I don't know. I just I, I feel like when I put more music out, I, I get more interaction on my Instagram mm-hmm. uh, versus like putting a picture up. Yeah. Like I, I feel like my followers go crazy when I put music out. Yeah, for sure. That's why last year was trash because I didn't only put like three songs out. And I was just it was crazy. You were just focused on getting yeah. those pictures up. Yeah. Because I bro, cause one time I posted up at eleven fifty nine p.m. and I and then someone was like, "Oh, you didn't post," and it's still like. But like it was um it was eleven fifty nine PM and I still posted it and like people were like, You failed, you failed and, and on Instagram it said it was good. Like it, I, I didn't want people to be like, Oh, they were just waiting for me to fail and shit. So I wanted to get that shit done. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's one thing you'd like tell somebody like growing up that um or like trying to do what you're doing, you know, what would you tell them? Um, fucking nine to five and like just do do what you wanna do. Like follow your dreams because um, I wanted to, like I remember growing up as a kid, like I wanted to be a McDonald's worker. I didn't know what that was. Like, wait for real? Yeah, I did. As I, I even made like a McDonald's dance and shit. I don't even remember how it was, but I remember my teacher was like, "You have a McDonald's dance." I wanted to become a McDonald's worker. I didn't know like what it was. I thought it was like being, like being a McDonald's worker was like the best thing. But then I grew up and I was like, "Oh shit, that's not the play." Like, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> that's no, definitely not the move. hell no. And then like I signed. I remember. Um, I wanted to get a job at McDonald's one time. They didn't call me up, so you know, I, I just started doing what I had to do. You hear me? I had to do I had to do me. So I said, "Fuck McDonald's, fuck Wendy's, fuck all of them." You hear me? Yeah. You ever think about being like a stand-up comedian in the future? No. 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 No, no. <laughs> no kind of comedian. No. Why? No. I I don't I don't know. I just don't want to. <laughs> you just don't want to do that. No. I feel you. What's uh What's the first song um somebody should listen to when they when they oh like like what's the best introductory song to Wetback Manny? Fuck the KKK, fuck the KKK, <laughs> or Besa Mi Pene. What's the last song you just put out? Puta. Um, Puta Puta yeah, <laughs> and then it was fuck the KKK. I mean, Bro, I'm I, tripping. I, I like it was fuck guys and shit. I can't I can't even uh I can't even like imagine you do something doing like a serious song. No, nah, I'm I'm definitely gonna move into like making serious and like I'm still gonna be me, but like I'm gonna make different shit because like, I want to make new shit. I like creating shit. Yeah, are you like kind of are you kind of over the funny stuff? No, nah, no, nah, I'm not. I just, I mean, I like I like making funny shit, but I also like do. I'm I'm also gonna move into making serious like, music like and politically charged music type shit. Yeah. I feel like I can't even imagine <laughs> for a second what that's gonna sound like, <laughs> bro. Me and me and Snot got a song coming out soon. Yeah, yeah. That shit's it's it's it's, it's medium funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's medium funny. Yeah. Um. Uh, is there anything else? I mean, what do what do you, what do you want to talk about? Like, is there anything that you really want to talk about that, that we haven't really um, talked about yet? How is it like moving down here? For, like for you, because I'm planning on moving down here. Um, type shit. It was literally the best thing I ever did. Um. Like, I'm literally all my dreams are coming true. It's really stressful. It's really lonely. But, like, it gives you, like, time to, like, step back and, like, focus on yourself, you know? Like, I don't know how it is for you in Florida, but at least for me in Florida, like, I had a lot of friends. So it was, like, easy for me to get distracted, you know? There was always something to do. Like, out here, I don't really have as many friends. And and the the few friends I do have, like, have, like, jobs and shit. So there's not, like, there's not always something to do, you know? And, like, I don't feel like I'm missing out being at work because, like, all my other friends are at work. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Um, I think I've. I don't got, even think this is a, a work for you, bro. This oh, is like, yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. It, it bro, shout out is. Yes Jules, bro. <laughs> yeah, for real. She's Big a go. Big shout out Yes Jules, but yeah, um, yeah, no, it is. It is crazy that I get to just do this. Um, I mean, mind you, though, I do have to go to like work after we're done with this. But like, it's it's like you said, um, it's not that bad. It and let me see your, your your tattoo, the one AM one. Oh yeah, here I got you. Bro, yeah, that shit's hard, bro. Yeah, no, I mean, honestly, bro, like, shit changed my life, you know? Like, Hell yeah. I'm in L.A., I'm fucking, I, I live, you know? I'm not rich as fuck, but, like, I'm on my way. You know what I'm bro, saying? Bro, the hair, you hear me, the hair is on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely, I definitely, like, stopped, um like, fighting, like, the whole clout thing and just started just chasing it, like, fuck it. Like, whatever, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, it, and it's working, and, and I'm happy, yo, you know? So, I, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. All right, you hear me? Oh, my muscle this year, I'm, like... I'm going. I'm going to be like creating like 
bro, some non-rap shit. It's like I love creating new shit. Like I, the next thing I'm gonna create is like you need a degree to like to make this shit. And like, yeah. Are you making like reggaeton? Like no, no. I'm gonna make reggaeton, but like. I'm making that shit too this year. <laughs> like yeah. trap rap? I want to no, hear, no, hear like, Wetback Manny on some trap rap, Bad Bunny type vibes. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out Bad Bunny. <laughs> Yo, shout out I've Bad Bunny. I've been listening to heavy Bad Bunny, Anuel, and bro, a whole bunch, um, Becky G. Yeah. Yo, what can we ex- expect from you this year? This year, I'm going to create like this, this non-rap shit. Like it's like on some other non-rap shit. Like it's not music. It's not like some applications type shit. Like you need a degree type shit to make this the thing I'm gonna make. And like, it's crazy, bro. I don't, I don't like, I like, I, I be everywhere, bro. I be making music videos. I be doing this. I, I like creating new shit. Like, were you like a really good student? No, not, I had F's, straight F's. <laughs> but I still graduated. Yeah. Hey, back in, ni- in 1845. Yeah. Okay. That's when I was born. I mean, that's when I graduated. That's my class, 1845. Word, word. Um. Yeah, so what I mean, as far as music though, what can we expect? Are you dropping a project? Do we have? A oh, I'm dropping an EP, like during the during like end of the year type shit. End I'm of the drop, year? Why are you yeah, waiting so long? Because I, I want to. I still don't have enough like, music. Yeah, you want to get the snowball yeah, rolling? Yeah, and I'm also working with my, my one of my favorite producers. He's on muffinologist. He's the one I be creating. Like he created um. Fuck eyes, best on me penne. Like we're trying to work on a on uh, a EP together. Okay. And shit, he's from Chicago. Shout out muffinologist. <laughs> yeah. You got any other shout outs or anything before you? Um, shout out Lilto, shout out Snot, shout out Eagle Vert, shout out um Kill. You hear me? Shout out um uh, my mom, my dad. You hear me? Um, my sister. Shout out um hmm. Shout out Mars. Shout out you. Shout bro. out Yes Jules. Shout out Yes Jules. <laughs> Shout out uh, Dale. Shout out <laughs> Mika. <laughs> you hear me? Uh, is there anything else you want to say? Oh, shout out Jolo. Shot by Jolo. You hear me? We, we, me, me and my friend Jolo, we were going to start making more music videos, like harder music videos. Bet. I'm excited. I'm yeah, I'm yeah. really excited for what you got going on. I'm kind of bummed out that you took that, that year off and like just posted yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, that shit was trash. That shit was but, trash. But this is going to be a good year. I can't, I'm this I can't year. Wait to see what happens. <laughs> Hell yeah. Also, um, my friends, uh my some of my like friends randomly hit me up and like, yo, who's Wetback Manny? How do you follow him? And I'm like, I don't he's like this kid I met or whatever, and they're like, yo, he's fucking hilarious. Like, <laughs> shout out, shout out Mike and Nick, because they're they're always like, yo, <laughs> Wetback Manny is the fucking funniest person on the planet. Bro, I really fuck with you too, cause you helped me get my first show in Miami yeah, with yeah. Levi. Oh yeah, shout out Pablito, Levi, you hear me? <laughs> Yeah, but you're the goal, bro. Like I fuck with you, heavy. Bro. I fuck with you too, bro. I can't wait to, wait to see what happens. Um, this is the Mars Files. Thank you for listening. Kion, kion, kion. Yeah.